All right, you want to go see Nickelback? They have announced their summer fall tour. And it will bring them through Cleveland with Brantley Gilbert and Josh Ross, a couple of country dudes in the supporting slot. Let me find the date here for you. I mean, you want to go see Nickelback. Oh, hey, there we go. I was looking right past it. Wednesday, August 9th is when it's happening. At Blossom, tickets, info, all that. LiveNation.com. Nickelback. Brantley Gilbert. Josh Ross. All on tour. Good luck, Hard 10. 216-578-1007. Or 800-348-1007. He might have been just a voice man. He's the man of a thousand voices. Greatest voice man that ever lived. None of which will make you laugh. But he never took a performance for granted. Alan Cox. On 100.7 WMMS. You got another shot at $1,000 about five or six minutes from now. Listen for that next keyword to go fund yourself. Coming up here at 530 and then at 630, that's going to be your last one tonight because Cavs basketball pregame starts up at 630 right after we roll out and then 7 o'clock is your first tip right around the corner with Romo Fijo against the Miami Heat. Uh, They'll play the uh, Grizzlies on Thursday night here at home. Then they hit the road against the Pacers, Wizards, and then come back. Uh, A little bit of back and forth over the next uh, few weeks, as is the case in the National Basketball Association. The Cavs are coming off a big win against the Clippers on Sunday. So Cavs heat, we're all there tonight. If you see us, say hello. Even if you don't see us, say hello to us. I would like to instill that notion in you, quite frankly. Because if I don't see you, I'm still going to say hi to you. It's just a polite thing to do. And who are we without our manners? So keep that in mind. Flava Flav. Remember Flavor Flav? Mm-hmm. This is a guy who, any time you asked him what time it was, he could tell you. I forget why. But he could always tell you. But he had his troubles with the law over the years. He had his troubles with um, controlled substances. He was talking to somebody the other day about how much money he used to spend on drugs. Quite a bit. A lot of money on drugs. And there was a time that I was spending $2,400 to $2,600 a day for six years straight. You do the math. And that's how much I spent on drugs. Think about that. $2,500 a day. Do you take holidays off? No. I'm going to do the math. Do Not double. even holidays off? Because you're so lonely and scared and sad. Times six years? Is like five and a half million dollars. Yeah. I mean. That's crazy. That's a lot of money. I didn't even think Flavor Flav ever made that much money. Those guys came up where rappers weren't getting rich. It was for the love of the game. How much did he make? I mean, he blew five and a half million dollars on drugs over the course of six years. He said he was spending about 2,500 bucks a day. I, That's I, if you don't take holidays off. Now, I heard that he made $5 million just from the Flavor of Love franchise. Yeah, but this is probably before that, right? I think it was probably before that, yes. But still, okay. good for him. Dude, that show was I didn't so think Flavor good. Flav that was pulling so down nuts. any cut. Co- what's yeah. that? That, movie, that show was nuts. It was it was the that best. That was him and Brigitte Nielsen? No. no. This was him. This was the dating show. The it was like The Bachelor, show. but yeah. The Bachelor was Flavor Flav. I remember it being on. I didn't watch it. but oh. So what was the one with him and Brigitte Nielsen? That was... Um, they, they had a, So he was on Surreal Life with Brigitte Nielsen. Okay. And, and they had then, like a one season type, like, Fools in Love or something like that. Yeah, it was a spinoff from... Because the, life, they yeah. were really in love on that show. And then once she broke his heart... They were like, oh, well, Flav's got to find love. and they. Oh, this was after I see. Mm-hmm. So they broke up and they go, oh, my God, let's give him a dating mm-hmm. show. Correct. Gotcha. Because I think that relationship was just so ridiculous, like, because he was so short and so black. And then Bridget noticed so, was so short old. and so black. <laughs> and, and she yeah, well, so Stallone's wise. not real tall either, and she was with him for a long time. So, But it just was an that. odd couple. Right. He had a stupid Viking hat and a large clock, and you just see Bridget Nielsen. <laughs> 
saying she loved him. She called him Foofy Foofy. Sure. Foofy Foofy Flavor Flav. Okay. And New York wanted to whoop her ass. I was going to say, New- I remember I Love New York. She was on Flavor of Love? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She came off Flavor of Love? Okay. He broke her heart twice. Wow. Twice. Ooh. That she she became Two a times. reality TV queen Two. after that. Hmm. Because she got spit on. She, she yeah, got famous was, for getting spit on? Yeah, yeah she got There's spit on by fights. Pumpkin. Yeah. Oh. A lot of fights That, on that was that another show. girl? A lot of wig pulling. Yeah, and... I, I would say you could pull up the clip, but there is so much cursing, there is no way. It, it, would, I, I don't it was probably bleeped, right? It was on VH1. Yeah, I don't know, it, but I don't know what's on YouTube. I don't yeah, know. Okay. It, it's been years, but oh, God, I watch it over. Whenever I'm having like a bad day and I just can't find anything, everything on Netflix is just so overwhelming, I go back to that clip, and it's like 10 minutes of just... Toxic, and I'm just is and that it what makes it is? You it's feel like, better. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that like a warm blanket for you to just see people just melting down? Makes you feel good. It, it wasn't like a meltdown. She she handled her like it was. That's when I enjoyed reality TV. I watched that in middle school. So you want to talk about staying up past past your bedtime? You know, not doing anything productive for your brain. Like it was rocks your brain out television, and that's exactly what I wanted hmm. in that moment. Perfect for a growing boy. <laughs> that was one of my shows that I'd watch with my friend Christy, who used to be on this station back in the day. You know Christy. Uh, Cantle. Christy Cantle. Yeah. Yeah, she was one of my interns. And we would uh, get together. We watched th- that show on Sunday nights, and it was like our trash TV soap opera type thing, and we just couldn't believe what we were seeing. It was so bad. I didn't watch those. I do recall watching a couple episodes of Charm School that I think was a Flavor of Love spinoff. Yeah. So it was because of Monique. Or, well, yeah, it was... From Flavor of Love, but Monique was the host. Because they had the they had Ten Commandments on Charm School. Yes. There was check thyself before thou wreck thyself. Mm-hmm. Remember the Ten Commandments over there on Charm School? And and the only reason I, don't I mentioned think I this, stuck with it that long. I, okay. I was like season one and two of You only Flavor got through the third commandment. Yeah. Listen, the only reason I mentioned this is because this is as long as the Bible has been around, these are still Great lessons to live by. Check thyself before thou wreck thyself. This is all Old Testament. Thou shalt goeth, girl. Mm -hmm. Right? Thou shalt show some class. And boy, if you watch Charm School, neck deep in class. Thou shalt work what thou art working with. That's Romans. Thou shalt spit mad game with style. Thou shalt... Mind thy money, thou shalt pay it back. Oh, I'm sorry, payeth it back. <laughs> so thou shalt represent, unless thou can play, thou wilt be played, and uh, thou shalt be fully fabulous. Who can remember all these, quite frankly? Uh, there's no idolatry on here, there's no nothing. None of the greatest hits. I think in 2023, Let's say that, uh, you know, a millennia-old book that was used to keep Bronze Age farmers in line doesn't work for you. Maybe the Charm School Ten Commandments work for you. There's no supplication to a deity you can't see. Just thou shalt spit mad game with style. Who can argue with that? Nothing in here about your mother and father. There's no coveting. Uh, Certainly no slavery. Bible was never against that. Thou shalt represent. Uh, follow these, and you might end up having an okay time. It worked for Pumpkin, like Pound Cake said. Pumpkin didn't win. Worked for Goldie. Worked for Toasty. Worked for Boots. <laughs> you just name it. Yes, I am. I am naming them. Those were their names. Worked for Buck Wild. I got to give you some money here. It's one thousand dollars to go fund yourself. Listen closely, and good luck. <laughs> The Buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score $1,000. Enter the nationwide keyword GRAND at WMMS.com. That's GRAND. Enter it now at WMMS.com. And good luck from Buzzard Radio. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Last keyword you're going to get today is going to be right around 6.30 before Cavs live pregame. And then 7 o'clock. Uh, tip off against the heat tonight. We've got some food news here. Food news! 
I'll tell you what, with the Super Bowl right around the corner, people are worried that things are going to be really expensive uh, for people who are going to have a party for the big game. A lot of things you have to consider. A Chicago suburban school worker stole 11,000 cases of chicken wings in an embezzlement scheme. Uh, This is a woman who uh, worked for um, some school district in the suburbs, and she would uh, file false unauthorized orders for food items, and she focused almost solely on chicken wings. She was the head of food services in the South Suburban School District. And this was part of a massive embezzlement scheme. She stole almost $2 million in funds and 11,000 cases of chicken wings. Now, you got to think, and this was at the height of the pandemic, you got to think, she was flipping them wings. Of course. Wing prices have never been higher, and at that point, they are probably <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. So she was making money. This is uh, the Harvey School District. This is south side of Chicago. This is like Kiki Palmer grew up there, right? Probably went to this school. Felony financial crimes for Vera Liddell. I'm laser focused on the chicken wings because I'm fascinated by that. She would place different orders. She would double bill. Uh, She wasn't authorized to make any food purchases on their behalf. I mean, she was the head of food service, but not with this particular delivery company. And so finally the school goes, what the hell is going on here? Embezzlement is a really hard crime to get away with. It's why I'm surprised so many people do it. You almost have to have, I would think, an almost forensic level of understanding of accounting to get away with it. Because what happens is she gets caught because they go, how did we go over our budget by $300,000 and we're only halfway through the school year? They go to her and they found that her invoices, uh, she had signed for massive quantities of chicken wings. So that was kind of the cover because they're like, we don't serve chicken wings to students because they have bones in them. I was going to say. We can't have choking kids all over the school. That seems... Very much like a food that you're not going to see. <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, guess I never thought of that. They don't have wings. Oh, did you ever have wing days? No, it's no, never no, had wing Because no, there's bones no. full of bones. Always chicken nuggets. Yeah. Or chicken patties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I never thought of that. So. They never had like rotisserie chicken day either. <laughs> <laughs> nugget day. That was it. Yeah. Nugget <laughs> day. That's day. all the Patty chicken day. we had. Chicken your, patty. Your maybe? school yeah. didn't have a carving station? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that prime rib looks a little overdone. I'm sorry. Me. Thinner, please. Thinner. Where's the horseradish au jus? <laughs> <laughs> I'll you, I have a No, we had octagon-shaped Mexican pizza. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So the people that she was buying all the chicken wings were from knew who she was because they're like, oh, yeah, this lady buys tons of chicken wings from us. She'd get to the GFS. She'd pick up the food. She'd double bill them. And then she she was carrying all this in one of the school cargo vans, but she never brought him to the school. So she's in big, big trouble now. But I just love the embezzlement of the money and all the chicken wings. Because I guess that's how you get it done when you want to get it done. On the subject of Super Bowl snacks, they say that they might actually be cheaper this year. Oh, good. So something to look forward to. If you're having a party for the big game, Anybody have I haven't gone to a Super Bowl party since like the first couple of years I was in Cleveland. I'm going to be out of town, so we're going to just do a Super Bowl party at the hotel we're staying at. Hmm. It's me and my girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, boy. I have some wings there. We're trying to plan Brian's daughter's birthday is on the 10th. Yeah. So we're trying to plan her birthday party, and pretty much every kid's attraction place, the only time they have available is during the Super Bowl. <laughs> like they're like Oh yeah. They're like you can come Sunday, February twelfth yep. from six thirty to eight thirty. I was like, oh during the first half. Yep. <laughs> like that's because yeah, Nora's birthday is the Nora's yeah. birthday's the thirteenth. Yeah. And it was the same thing. They're like, we're like, that's Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. We're not gonna have that's a party. That's why that's all mm-hmm. they have yeah. open. Yeah. So I was like, we might be celebrating it at Urban Air. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We went to a party at Sky Zone. Did I talk about that? I don't think so. The trampoline park? Yeah the trampoline park. In Westlake? 
Yeah. We were just there a couple weeks it's ago. It's like t- three minutes from our house, and we've never been there. It's a cool place. And my daughter got invited to a party, and we went out there, and of course, she's just like, if you will, she was head over heels for mm-hmm. the place, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> she was... Mary, she had a good time. That it place w- has its ups and downs. Oh, does it? That's, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember that joke? Remember that one guy? <laughs> When it was time to leave, I said, <laughs> we've got to bounce. Ah, there it is. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> I met a guy, and he said that he, uh, I guess his family had been going through some big, long, protracted business um, fight, I guess. He had assumed that he was the heir apparent, Bill. So anyway, sky's old out there in Westlake, Ohio, could, everybody. Not an ad. Hashtag not an ad. Wish I could think more uh, more trampoline puns, but nothing springs to mind. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was fun though. But it it was it was um, it was a frigging madhouse. Oh, a it, madhouse. It, those places are a full blown panic attack. I took. My, when my older kids were little, I took them to Sky Zone pretty frequently in Michigan, but I hadn't been to one in a long time, and I forgot what I mean. All those places it's are chaos. Well, but any place that caters to kids is like that. But you add into it jumping and leaping and swinging, and Dude. you know, it's not like, like you're going to be knocked out by a yeah. You're going to get hit by a foot or well, yeah. like, like a Chuck E. Cheese. Everybody's at ground level. You know sure. what I mean? They're running around, but they're all running around at the same level. A place like this, bouncing and flipping, and I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, she had a goddamn ball, but have it you, was chaos. Have you been to Urban Air in in Crocker Park? No. So they have a trampoline section. They have a ninja section of things you can, like, swing on and climb on and do all this crazy stuff. They have go-karts. They have oh, they're a trying to cut in on Sky Zone's friggin- action. They have a... a- Zip line. Zip line. Yep. So you're Sky walking. Sky zone too. You're walking, but the zip line goes through the middle of the place. Yeah, they could kick you in the head. It's dude, it is yeah. pure just <laughs> insanity. They got a big ball pit. Like it was What's that it was called? too much for me to handle. Yeah. Where I was like, I lot. don't even know where to look. They got tunnels. They got all kinds it's of stuff. It's a lot. Yeah. What's it called when you wear one of those suits and they put you in like an air, I guess, sound room and then they have a big fan and then you go flying up. What's that called? It's called like X Air or something. It's okay. supposed to be like skydiving. Like yeah. indoor skydiving. Sky, I, they have one when I drive to my parents. Also. I want to do one of those instead of skydive. You want to go in the, the tube? You the don't tube wanna... and, and then like, yeah, the big fan lifts you up and you fly. It, like, that's cool. You don't want to jump out of a plane? Kind of, if I could, I will avoid it if I can. Hmm. All right. Well, something to look into. I've got to take a break. If you want to send a text.